Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Live with Matt. Today is Tuesday, September 19th, 2017. Ladies, welcome back here. Heather, I like your shirt. You wore the Live with Matt shirt again. Very impressive. <laughs> Uh, Jamie, how are you doing this no, week? God. I haven't seen you in a, in a while. I haven't really talked to you all week, actually. I know. What's new? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> no. Exciting School television. Work. School work. Yes, indeed. School work. Back we are school. back in school. You know, we had, a, we had a good first full week of school. I think, you know, the kids enjoyed it. My twins started last week was their first week, so. I saw that. They had like a little yellow matching outfit on, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they look like little bumblebees. Linda didn't want to go back this week either. <laughs> oh, he didn't want to go back? He didn't like it. Oh. Yeah, he just doesn't want to leave me. But Liev is with him, so... Liev leaves him high and dry every morning. <laughs> oh, wow. She's like, see ya. Wow. I see enough of you at home. Wow. She doesn't hang with him. Okay. She does her own thing. Oh, my. We got a little Sloan here just interjecting with us. Uh, Heather, how about you? What's new with you? Just work. Work is getting busy now. Yes. Budgets are coming up. and I guess so, right? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of things going on over there in the tourism office, right? Yes, we do. Yes. A lot of stuff. Just released a fabulous mountain bike video. and. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Have you that, seen it on the book? We should share that on the show here. You should. It's awesome. Okay, is it on YouTube? We can it share is. it? All right, we'll share the link on our... You can our, definitely do that. Our Live with Matt site. You can definitely uh, do This that. week, speaking of tourism and, you know, economic development, we've got Terry Weiss coming on the show. Yeah. She's going to talk about the Buy in Green program that's here in Green County. We also Are you ever going to have me on the show? Talk about tourism? Well, you're here every week. <laughs> If you want to interject, interject at any time here. You are allowed to speak, you know. Oh, if you, yes, if you have something to share with the audience, we feel thought free. we were only allowed to speak when spoken to. <laughs> oh wow, uh, Jack Sensabaugh is also going to be here. He's got his Backtracks in Time show, uh, radio show. So he's going to be giving us a little preview of that this week. And we've got some community news for everybody. Yes, I know that's that's exciting, isn't it? Sloan's eating watermelon. Very sorry. Yeah. She's yeah. in the background always, enjoying we always, the watermelon. We always got a lot of... Could you please? Thank you, honey. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, my. We are trying to do a show around here. It's like guerrilla television. But anyway, uh, we had the... Speaking of back to school, uh, I didn't see you, but we had the back to school barbecue at the elementary school. Yeah. Uh, but we had a nice time. Uh, there was a lot of kids. A lot of kids and families showed up for it. Good. And, of course, I was standing next to Nancy Lee Pommetier, of I course. And uh, Heather Hoda was there. We had a nice little, you know, back-to-school get-together. And, uh, you know, the kids were coming by. We were serving hot dogs and hamburgers. Mm -hmm. So I was telling everybody we were serving hot dogs and rabbits. You know, so Nancy was like, will you stop saying that? I said, well, it's rabbit meat. You know, <laughs> it really wasn't rabbit meat, but it was a little funny quote from the Three Stooges. Nobody got the joke around there. Please lighten up the place. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But anyway, then on Saturday, I had to go down to uh, the Dutchman's Landing in Catskill, and I spoke for the on um, behalf of the legislators for the Out of Darkness uh, Community Walk. Uh, this is for suicide prevention. Uh, and they do this walk every year, and this ha this year it happened to be in Greene County. Uh, so Maggie Graham, I wanted to thank her for the invitation to speak and the kind words that she spoke about me before we even started. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but we had a nice turnout. Mike Bulich was there with me, and uh, the congressman was there, Congressman Faso, and... Congressman Gibson's wife was there, Mary Jo, oh, and she came over to me, asked how I was doing, all that. I asked about the former congressman. I said, I hear he watches live with Matt. She said, yes, he watches every <laughs> week. So here's your shout out, Chris Gibson. You know, I said, we're going to have to have him on the show over yeah, here one of these days. We need to. No, he's a professor now. Give me a break. I'm a professor <laughs> too. And then after that, I went to the... Uh, Catskill Street Festival on Main Street. Now, there was a little bit of controversy with this street festival. I put on there, and a lot of people said they had no idea it was even taking place. Now, I saw a lot of Facebook stuff, yeah. you know, advertisements. Yeah, I saw a lot of flyers. Yeah, but I didn't... There was nothing in the, in the newspaper, I don't think. And maybe that's where people, you know, got a little confused. It wasn't in our community news. You know, we get the community news from... Uh, the Daily Mail and Register Star. So it was on my site. It was on your site. Oh well, it would have been nice if we had it on our <laughs> site. Uh, but anyway, it, it was a lot of fun. It was you know first year of doing it, and uh, it was nice. 
Uh, and then also, uh, I wanted to mention, last week we had yeah. Chelsea Streifenator here, mm-hmm. and my goodness, you know, this was the, you know, the cover of the magazine she gave us on Pilates Style, so go check her out, yeah. uh, Pilates Style Magazine, and uh, she's actually going to be coming with me to uh, the community center is hosting a uh, fundraising mm-hmm. dinner yeah. uh, this Friday down at the historic uh, mm-hmm. Dutchman's Landing at Catskill Point. And uh, she's actually coming with me to that. So good, good. Yeah. So uh, hopefully it'll be a nice, a nice time down there. And she's actually, she didn't fail to mention this when she was here, but she's going to be celebrating five years in Catskill on October first. Awesome. Uh, and I believe it's at ten a.m. at her shop on Main Street, oh, really? Catskill. Okay. So people want to go check her out down there. Uh, I've also been asked to share they're having the cruise by the Catskills ride on Saturday, October seventh at eleven a.m. Uh, this year's ride is going to benefit Stephen Bear's family. Uh, so go if you're able to, you know, attend that. Those of you that ride motorcycles or something. And then they're going to have a little uh, reception uh, at the inn at Leeds after that. I want 11 a.m., 11.30 ride through the Catskills, 3 o'clock buffet and music uh, from 3 to 6 p.m., $25 at the door. So, you know, okay. check that out. Excellent. We got a big show this week, ladies. You know, we've got uh, we've got Terry here. We've got Jack coming on, and uh, we've got your favorite community news. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you like that. Don't Where you? are we gonna go to next? What are we gonna go to next? Well, we're not done yet. I wanted to share. I wanted to ask you, ladies. Now, I'm sure Jamie, you don't have time to watch too much television. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> uh, but there's some new shows that are out there, uh, and I wanted to share a couple of those. Do you watch television, Heather? I DVR everything. You DVR everything. You're a big football fan. I know. Yeah. You know, we take you away on, you on Sundays sometimes. Uh, but the, the big ones, the Vietnam War, it's on PBS. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Deuce, I never heard of that. Uh, it doesn't say where it's on. Uh, Star Trek Discovery, CBS. Anybody Star Trek fans here? That's coming another, another uh, must be little mm-hmm. series. The Young Sheldon on CBS. Oh, I saw the previews for yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, couple others. This is actually in the USA Today section here. Uh, Will and Grace. Are you Will and Grace fan? Yeah, you know, Thursday. Uh, I have it in my calendar. Yeah. Uh, Ten Days in the Valley, The Mine Hunter on Netflix. Uh, the Mayor, uh, the new ABC sitcom here. Brandon Michael Hall is a, a young rapper turned accidental mayor. Hmm. I don't like Matt here. You know, young talk show host turned accidental legislator. <laughs> Oh, yeah, accidentally. Yeah, accidentally. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how some of the new shows coming out. All right, ladies, are you ready for it? We're ready. All right, we got Terry Weiss here. You ready right. for Terry? Yes, we are. All right, let's go to it. All right, here we are for our community spotlight with Terry Weiss. Now, Terry. Uh, welcome to Live with Matt. You're not here Thank promoting you. the wine and cheese know, or the I'm Festival just... of Trees. <laughs> You're here today. It's been a long time in coming. Yes. With our Buy in Green. Yep. Now tell us what, what dot is... Com. Buy in Green dot com. Okay, now what is this? Because I get a lot of notifications on the Twitter mm-hmm. for the Buy in Green. So explain to our audience at home what this is all about. Do you want me to hold that? No, you're just... <laughs> We're just taking over here. <laughs> well, okay, so buying green started back yes. like in 2008, okay? okay? And it started out just about basically your buy local program and the importance of buying local and keeping your your money in town at your local shops, restaurants as much as possible because right. we right. all know it's an economic engine. Absolutely. So. But about 3 years ago, then we um, we decided to totally revamp the whole program. So what we did was we started a very very uh, strong marketing campaign, and by the way, thank you because it's due to the legislature. Legislature, because you guys oh, back all this. That's true. So yeah, we do. It's, yeah. So we started. Important. Yeah, a very aggressive marketing campaign mm-hmm. to begin with. Uh, we rebranded it and we put it into two different segments, kind of. Kind okay. of. So one is the buying green side, which okay. is about buying local and staying local. Okay. And then we have now the invest in green side. Oh, invest in green. Right. Wow, we've got some extra greens going on we're, here. We're trying to get a lot of green in Green County. Yes, you know, come on. Green in Green we, County, We right. want your green. So, yes, yeah, so not true, only do we want you to continue to buy local and stay local, okay. we now also want um, your small, small business. We want people coming into the county 
county and we want them investing in our properties we want them investing in our downtown we want them to open businesses wow. we want you know so okay. we, we've become very aggressive very and it's good. working it's, it's working it's working yes. Yes, our downtowns that is. are prospering Yes. Um, you can see it in Catskill alone, the number of uh, Absolutely, new yeah. Stores People are working that, very hard to, yep, to. Yep. But as far as the buy part, mm -hmm. we still, uh, if you're a business in Greene County, mm -hmm. You need to be listed on our website. Okay, okay. so if, our people should be contacting you about yes, all this. All right. Yes, okay. most definitely. All right. One of the most important things is that if you're a business and you don't have a website, you definitely need to be on our site, okay? okay? Because this will help you out. What it is is that you go on to buyinggreen.com and it will say list your sign up your business. You just follow the steps, you get a password, you go in, you list your business, you um, can put a photo photos up of your of your wow, business, okay. you can put a video up of your business, you can put a coupon, any any incentive to get right, somebody right. to, you know, if if they're looking for your business and they go on to our okay. buying green let let's find some place to shop okay. and your place pops up. You know, the most, the more information you put on there, the better off you can. And very especially, good. like I said, if you don't have a website, use this as your website. Wow, very So, good. and if it sounds complicated, just, you know, anybody, just contact me. I'll guide you through it. I'll get you on there. But it's very easy. And you can get on there daily. You can change out pictures. You can change out your specials okay. or your coupons. Now, is there a fee to any of this? No, business? that's no. the best part. Wow, it's free. We have to get live with Matt on there. -E -E. There's wow. not too much in Green County anymore that's free. This yeah, is free. That's free. Wow. Okay. That's good to know well, for our yes. people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, and like I said, we have a very, very aggressive marketing campaign. Mm -hmm. And um, for the invest side, we're doing a lot of our marketing down, um, you know, in New York and the tri state area. Yes. And um, and we have a huge social media campaign. Yes, that's why, that's why get you're getting all the Twitters and yes. the Facebook. We have almost eight thousand likes on Facebook. Wow! So we're yeah. Much more than live with Matt here. We're gonna, mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, this and you know Green's what? taking over Green. Yep. yep. <laughs> that's what we're trying to do. But you know this um, is all due to all also you know we work very closely with the chamber too. Yes. So the cha or chambers, not just the county, but okay. all the individual towns. Okay. They help us with, with information. All the towns have their uh, basically their own web page so you, if you go on to your uh, town of Catskill, town mm -hmm. of Hunter or whatever mm -hmm. you'll see a great description of what the town has what it's okay. like what some of the vacant buildings that there are so you know and then, then as you scroll down you'll also see a, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of a map of your downtown and it will say you know opportunity here for business wow. you know and then it will also list all the current businesses but but we couldn't do that if it wasn't for the help of the chambers helping us with right. all the information because things change all the time, okay. you know? All right. Good. So, um, is there a way that con consumers use this too? Like someone who wants to shop and is looking for something? Oh, absolutely. It's an online shopping guide. So you go into the search and you say, I'm looking for a flower shop. And then all well, the flower shops pop, pop up. The flower shops that have gone on and listed their business. Mm -hmm. That's why. We can't do it for every business, you know, right. I mean, but I will, I will certainly help, you know, and, but that's why we encourage everybody to get on there and list their own business, you know, put their own business Terrific. listing because, you know, they know their business better than anybody. Nice. You know? Very good. And you got the flyers there. Yes. So yes. That's what people can take this a look at. This is what we at. want. Yes. <laughs> live, love, live, work, love, local. There it is. There's the slogan right there, folks. Buyinggreen.com. All right. So. Come on to our Facebook page, like us, share us. We tweet. We yes, right. Do, we do all the above. <laughs> all right, very good. So we're going to share uh, the Buying Green, all that information on the Live with Matt Facebook page and uh, the Definitely. Twitters and all that yep. other stuff. And uh, you really gave us a lot of information here about this program. I hope program. I didn't go too fast. No, that was great. I think our people at home, <laughs> you know, certainly will understand this a little bit better and uh, reach out to people. You know, let's spread the word to you know Everybody. our friends and neighbors yes. that this exists well exactly because no. there's you know like i said there's so many small businesses in green county that don't have the advantage of a marketing campaign right. and we're here to help them That's great. and and a lot of people you're right do yeah. not know about now it you so. can get warren hart off my back you've finally <laughs> been on the show hey what is around here warren hart all right well thank you terry for being here this week uh, you gave us a lot of good information we'll share all that on the page buy in green yeah buy in green and speaking and invest in green and invest in green and speaking of all this local stuff we've got our community news so we ready for Let's some go. community news yeah here we go <laughs>
right, ladies, we got our community news. The Kiwanis Club of Catskill will serve a chicken barbecue on Wednesday, September 20th from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Advanced Auto Parts parking lot in Catskill, Route 9W. Dinners are $11. The Catskill Elks Lodge, 1341, will serve a barbecue chicken dinner, takeout only, 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. on September 21st at the Lodge, 45 North Jefferson Ave, Catskill. Dinners are $12. The Red Hook Public Library, 7444 South Broadway in Red Hook, will show Captain Underpants at 5 p.m. on September 22nd. Admission is free and includes brownies, popcorn, and drinks. All ages are welcome. No sign-ups necessary. Oh, very good. And the Catskill Community Center, as we mentioned earlier, will host a farm-to-table fundraising event in celebration of the harvest season and the beginning of their new fall programming. The event will take place on Friday, September 22nd at the Historic Point. 6.30 to 9.30, Creekside will be catering the event using fresh produce from our local stories farms. Hudson Chatham Winery and Rip Van Winkle Brewery will be the alcohol vendors for the night. St. Mary's Christian Service mm, Committee, that's Holy Trinity Parish, will host a sub-night sale <clears throat> 4 to 6 p.m. September 22nd at the Academy, 301 Allen Street, Hudson. Sub-sandwiches will include meatballs, pepperoni, sausage, peppers, and onions. There will be takeout, curb service, subs are $8.00. House of Glory 11693 Route 32 in Greenville has an autumn craft fair be held at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on September 23rd, rain or shine. There will be many unique vendors, bake sales, raffle tables, activities for children, and more. Proceeds will go to benefit the Greenville Rescue. Very good. Sleepy Hollow Lake will host a free classic cars and craft show 11 to 4 p.m. September 23rd with a rain date of September 24th at the parking lot of Sleepy Hollow Lodge, 92 Randy Road in Athens. Uh, the car show includes more than 40 trucks, cars, and motorcycles. At the same time, just inside the lodge, the craft show offers an array of original works from over 18 artisans, including jewelry, pottery, photographs, and paintings, knitted and crocheted articles. Oh, it's right up your alley there, crocheted. And woodworks. Admission is free. The Eastern Volunteer Fire Company annual roast beef dinner will be held 1 to 4, September 24th at the firehouse. 2401 Route 145 East Durham. Eat in or take out free will be offering. Let's help the kids of Catskill School District raise funds for That's Hurricane right. Irma relief. There will be a fun run on Sunday, nine or excuse me, September twenty fifth at nine thirty AM at Sunny Hills Viking Obstacle Course in Greenville. Cost is twenty dollars per person, no age limits. Adult participation required with kids. Oh. Sunny Hill will donate back ten dollars mm. per person directly to the Hurricane Relief Fund. Five mile course with two point five mile shortcut bailout options. Thirty six wow, obstacles, which are optional. We put you you in can an obstacle. run, walk, or crawl, <laughs> but come one, come all. There's our community news. Okay, so we're back here with another community spotlight. Jack Sensabaugh, welcome back to the studio here yeah, with us. Thank and you, uh, it's, it. it's nice to have you back here. And uh, you're hosting that sh radio show, yes. uh, Backtracks in Time. Correct. And uh, the last, you were here about a month or so yeah, ago. Yeah, a month ago. Yeah, it was about a month ago, and uh, we had a lot of people, you know, compliment you on the show, and uh, we're happy to see you here, so yeah. that's why I wanted to ask you to come back. and I'm happy, I'm happy to be back. Yeah. <laughs> that people liked it. <laughs> yeah, people enjoyed it, and, uh, you know, you got another show coming up. Yes. Uh, so we want to share with our audience here on Columbia Green Media, you've got our... Uh, Green County historian David yes. Dorpfell coming yes. on. So, uh, what interesting things did you talk to David about? Well, he talked about his work as a uh, county historian. He's the fourth, only the fourth county historian that Green County has had. That's true. He mentioned right, um, right. As, um, Mabel Parker Smith, Jesse Van Becken Vetter, Ray Beecher. Ray Beecher. And, yeah, uh, yeah. and, then, and then David. And David, so, yeah. And David writes a lot. You yeah. know, I've seen his writings in the Daily Mail. Yes. And he always writes a column. So yeah, every week he, I think every week he's in here, so I read that. Yeah. So and what? What was? What were? What was? What, what's, he, what's he on your show for this week? Well, he's just talking about. I, I tried to have him on since early this year. I contacted him. Finally, scheduling finally worked out. Yeah. Thanks a lot, David, for coming here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we tried it. Yeah. Anyway, he talked about. Um, yeah. His general work as a county historian, he's at all these different events that happen. And right. we talked about some events, special events that have been held in Kuksaki this year. Because not only does he live there, but it's the, the, uh, 2017 is the 150th anniversary of the incorporation of the village of Kuksaki. Okay. So they've had a lot of events there this year. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Um, I they, bet. They're, they're doing the Owls, they have the Riverside Festival, <coughs> but with extra things attached to them. Mm -hmm. And 
and some events coming up at the Bronx House. That's, okay. There's always a lot of things there. Yes, yeah, they're very Maybe. involved. Him and Wanda are are very involved in the Bronx House. You can see Wanda dressing up as, you know, all people, <laughs> Peter Bronx. Did you have Wanda in school? I did you have did? Her, yes. Wow, wow. Yeah. One of my favorite teachers. Yeah, she was, she's a great teacher, yes. Yeah, Sixth so. grade. Sixth grade, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a side note, it's a small world. Now, I saw David's name, I said, wait a minute, I went to school with an Albert Dorkfeld. Mm -hmm. I said, what relation are you? And they're like, Albert's his first cousin once removed or something. Wow. Okay. So everybody knows everybody in this area. You gotta oh, watch true. you gotta watch what I say. That's true. Or we're related, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm related to half the county, for God's sake. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So tell our viewers when they can check this out on the radio. My show will be on uh, Tuesday, September twenty sixth, so, uh, two PM. Yeah, so it's next, next Tuesday, yeah. yeah. Next Tuesday, right? Uh, two PM on ninety point seven WGXC FM. Okay. So. All right, great. So we're we're looking forward to hearing from David and uh, David. Here's your shout out to come sit in this chair one yes. of these days. I'm sure, I'm sure he would love to do it. Yeah, that'd be it'd be yeah. great. Very. I'm, I bet he was interesting to listen to. He was. He yeah. had no problem keeping the conversation going. I'm sure he he's has a lot of knowledge, you know, about this area. Yeah. You know, and every time I talk to him, you know, we'll talk for at least 15 minutes. You yeah, know, about I various things. You know, he knew I was working up at the cemetery. He knows, you know, these famous people that are up there. So he really, he really is a very knowledgeable man. So we're, we're lucky to have him as the historian. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you, Jack, for being here. And uh, thanks for coming in. Okay. And uh, ladies, we hope you have a good week. And we hope everybody at home has a good week. We'll see you next Bye. week. Bye.